Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up shipping zones in WooCommerce. It's something that's very helpful in terms of setting different prices for different uh, places when you're shipping out your products. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so as I said, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up shipping zones in your WooCommerce store. So the first thing you want to do is log into your dashboard and then go to WooCommerce and just go to settings. So basically what, uh, how WooCommerce shipping zones work is you will set up uh, different prices depending on where the person is. So you can set up zones. So the zone can be as big or as small as you want. You want to go to shipping here in your settings once you come in. Basically the zone can be as big or as small as you want. So you could do a zone that is Europe. You could do a zone that is everywhere except Europe. You can do a zone that is everywhere. You can do basically any amount of countries that you want to be in a zone, you can put them into it. And what you can do is, this allows you to set, let's say, several different zones and have different um, prices for shipping depending on how far away it is from you. So let's say if you wanted to have free shipping within the United States, then you wanted to have uh, $4 shipping you know, to Europe or to Australia, and then everywhere else you want to have, let's say, $6 shipping. Then you can set that up using shipping zones. So the first thing you want to do is to click on add shipping zone. So decide where your shipping zones are going to be and the prices that they're going to be in each one. So let's say we're going to call this um, Europe. Or we call it Africa because Africa comes up quickly on the list. Um, and then you can select your regions within this zone. So we just click on Africa. Um, so you can choose, as I say, just from the drop down list, just choose whichever ones you want um, and Basically, that way, all the countries, if you choose, let's say, like Africa, then all the, the countries within that um, kind of, I suppose, continent will be added in. So I now have all the countries in Africa added in. Then you can add a shipping method. So you can add flat rate, which is a fixed rate for shipping. So let's say anytime someone buys from Africa, it's going to be five euro or five dollars, whatever it is. You can have free shipping or local pickup. So local pickup then is just if you had a store, they can actually pick it up from your store and not pay for shipping. So let's just say flat rate for now. We'll just add in a shipping message. And then we'll also add in free shipping as well. So that's a good thing. You can add more than one shipping message um, to each zone. And let's say you can add a flat rate and then you can actually go in here and edit it. So if you wanted to have, let's say, uh, some one charge for standard shipping, another one for registered shipping, and another one for express shipping. You could add in three different flat rate uh, charges. So add this in, add in another one, and add flat rate, flat rate, flat rate. Keep adding them in, and then just go into edit and edit the prices for each one. So you can see here, once you go into edit for each shipping um, kind of rate, you could change this to standard, let's say. So standard shipping. Um, and then you could choose whether you want to have tax on. The, so if you're charging, let's say, VAT uh, on your store, if you want to include the shipping cost in the VAT calculation, so the it won't be the price of the good, it'll be the price of the shipping as well, and then they'll add VAT on top of that, you can choose whether you want that or else you can click on none. Uh, the cost then, so let's say if it's $4, um, whatever way your store is set up, if you're using dollars, if you're using euro, it'll be four or whatever it is you're you're using. Um, and then you could, I, sh I have another video about uh, shipping classes that you can you can do that if you'd like. Uh, the link will be in the description for that. But for now, we'll just leave it at that. So this is standard, uh, no tax, and it is four dollars. So save changes. And as I said, you can see here it says standard. As I said, you could literally add another shipping rate, shipping method, add in a flat rate again and just call it express and charge, let's say $10 or whatever it is. And then that way they're getting a, a faster shipping service. Um, and then to, to set up the free shipping, you can click on edit. Um, so you can see here, you can call it free shipping or whatever it is. Then this is interesting. So free shipping requires, so you can either just do it, uh, everybody can get free shipping you can do, they need to have a, a free shipping coupon. So if you're giving out coupons that allow free shipping, well then give this. A minimum order amount, so you could do, let's say if somebody bought 65 euro worth of stuff in your store, then they get free shipping, you can do that. Uh, a minimum order amount or a coupon, so if you're doing both of these things, you can do this. Or they need both of them, which is a bit much, so I would say uh, one of the top three there. Uh, or even just uh, give it to everybody if you want to click on NA. That's... um. 
it, everybody will get free shipping. And then if you do choose minimum order amount, you can put in your minimum minimum order amount that they um that they must spend in your store in order to get the free shipping. So that's basically it. And that is how you set up your shipping zones and your shipping um methods then in your WooCommerce store. Once those are in, you can just save your changes. I think they're already saved. And then you can go back to your shipping zones and just add in a new zone and add in your shipping uh, rates for that zone. So this way, when somebody comes on and puts in their country, WooCommerce will automatically think, okay, so they are in Africa. That way, this is going to be the cost for their shipping. And that's why how you use zones uh, for shipping in WooCommerce. I hope this helped, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. So there you have it. I really hope this helped. I hope you're able to set up your shipping zones and have different prices depending on where you're shipping them to. Um, as I say, for me, I just have free shipping everywhere. But it's up to you. You can set up these zones and set up the different uh, shipping methods within them zones. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. That would really, really help me to continue to grow this channel and to give you the best content. If you are stuck with anything at all to do with WordPress or WooCommerce, anything like that, just let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd be more than happy to help and do a video to help you. Uh, so thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.